Just did a little quick garden harvest before the rain starts. So I snuck out some potatoes, grabbed a head of cabbage and onions some dill, some eggs from the chicken and some green and yellow beans. Hubby's gonna throw some haddock on the smoker. I got this back in February when it was $3.97 a pound. Nova Scotia haddock. And then everything else will be right here grown in our own front yard except for a few spices. So I decided to do a potato salad, a coleslaw, and then some steamed green beans as our sides. And my husband decided since he had the smoker going anyway, he's going to do the haddock. And then also we had a package of chicken legs from Gateway. And then we had also found a half price uh, chicken wings from just from Superstore. So we just wanted to give them a try. So I decided to make my own mayonnaise. So I'm just, and this is a quadruple recipe because I only have a blender. I don't have a food processor or an immersion blender. So I cracked four of our eggs in the blender. Just, I used whole eggs. And then two teaspoons of dried mustard powder. And then I'm adding in four tablespoons of just plain white vinegar. And I'm just gonna give this a quick mix to incorporate it before I start adding in the oil. So I just uh, pulsed this two or three times and then just gave a check to make sure it all looked mixed up, I guess. This is actually the first time I've ever made mayonnaise, so I wasn't sure if this would work or not for me, but I decided to give it a go. So now I have it on the lowest blend and I'm letting it run while slowly drizzling in the oil. This is four cups of a neutral oil. I use canola oil. Uh, canola oil was on sale in June at Atlantic Superstore. So I have oil, so that's what I figured I would use. I know it is a seed oil, and I am okay with that. So you just drizzle it in slowly. I'm probably being a little extra cautious here where this is the first time I've made it, but you just incorporate a little bit at a time so that it can emulsify. So right now it's very thin. That's why I keep closing <laughs> the little thing. I actually had to clean my windows after I made this because it kept splashing up. So once it starts getting a little bit thicker, I can leave it open and then just drizzle in the oil as I go. So now that it has started to thicken up, now I can just slowly keep a constant drizzle of that oil going in. As you can see that little bottom piece that's visible, you can see that the mixture is now white and not no longer yellow. So it's working, but it is still splashing a little bit, but I can see now at this point that it is, I believe going to work. <laughs> so just drizzling in that last little bit of oil in there, I figured it called for four cups. I'm not gonna stray from the recipe. I'm gonna do what they tell me to do. You can see the color there is white, no longer yellow. And I believe I'm gonna, that's about how thick it is. There's my husband coming in to do a little uh, taste test to make sure it tasted right. It definitely needed salt. I didn't add the salt before I started um, mixing it up, but there you can see it's nice and thick. Next was getting my green beans ready. So I'm just gonna clean them by uh, chopping off the tips of the tails getting them in a pot, and then once they're all in the pot, I'll give them a rinse. So for my coleslaw, I'm going to use about three quarters of this um, head of cabbage. So um, I'm just gonna dice it up or slice it up fine just with my kitchen knife. Uh, I'm using a serrated blade just to make it a little easier for myself. Um, if you had a food processor, you could use a food processor, but I find this is just as quick, especially where this is really fresh cabbage. Like I just picked this probably half an hour before I'm doing this. Uh, it's, it isn't dense like um, grocery store cabbages are, I don't find. So it's very easy to get a nice fine shred on it. I'm just cutting out the core here so I can give put the core in with my chicken scrap pile. If anyone's interested, this type of cabbage is called Golden Acre. I've been growing it the last few years and I am very happy with it. It makes a great coleslaw. It makes a great sauerkraut. I'm actually going to make a batch of sauerkraut probably on Wednesday. Um, I do actually, if you look um, to the right of your screen there, that 
baby blanket is actually because I have sauerkraut uh, fermenting on the counter right now. And once that batch is going in the fridge, then it'll be time to get a new batch going. And I really like a little bit of sweet in my coleslaw. So I'm just going to go ahead and add just one carrot and just a little bit. I'm gonna, just going to grate this up using the box grater. This is actually is bought from the grocery store. I believe it's from Gateway. I do like to have carrots in the house, but our carrots just aren't ready yet. We had a little bit of a problem where I accidentally pulled a whole bunch of carrot seedlings out when I was trying to weed the garden bed. So I'll just grate up this carrot and we will add it to our coleslaw mixture. And once again, all these little bits of uh, vegetables, I used to save them for vegetable stock, but now that I'm canning my stocks, you have to use peeled vegetables. So mostly all my little scraps and things, I just send right on over to our chickens to keep them happy. So to my shredded cabbage and grated carrots, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a bit of celery seed and then some ground black, ground black pepper. I like to add quite a bit of this actually. Um, it's quite a bit of vegetables here that you're consuming, even though you are gonna smother it in mayonnaise. And then I'm gonna add some salt. I'm also gonna add just a tiny little bit of sugar there, or maybe a little more than a tiny bit. Um, that's just to help counteract the uh, bitterness of the celery seed. And then I also add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my homemade mayonnaise and we're just gonna mix that until it is a nice consistency. Just gonna go ahead and mix that up. And I did add salt to the homemade mayonnaise as well after I took it out of the blender. I don't know if I ever did mention that, but anyway, we'll mix this up and then that's our first side dish ready to roll. Oh, I did taste it and I decided it needed just a little bit more black pepper. So before I even started with the green beans, I actually did put my potatoes on to cook. So they were cooked and drained and they have been uh, just chilling in the fridge. So these are cold potatoes. Um, as you can see, the skins are still on them. I just gave them a really good scrub. Uh, they're very thin skinned. They're called a superior is the brand or the type of potato. It's a white fleshed uh, potato. That's one of our favorites. So it, I grow them almost every year. And I just had a couple egg yolks in that I had. Uh, I have a couple kids that like to eat boiled eggs without eating the egg yolks. So I had a couple egg yolks just floating around in the fridge. So I do like to add a little splash of vinegar to my cold potatoes and just kind of let that vinegar soak in sort of to season the potatoes within the potato salad. I'm going to go ahead and dice up this one onion. Uh, these are from onion sets that I planted back in April. Um, they'll get much bigger than this, but we are out of homegrown onions. So I decided to just sneak one from the garden. So I'm just going to do a quick dice on these and add them to our potatoes. So I'm just taking the stems out of my dill. We have tons of dill ready right now. So, and I do love dill and potato salad. So just give them once again, just giving this a quick chop and dice. And I'm going to add that to my potato bowl. And I found a person who's... So at this point, I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt to this um, potato mixture. And probably my good friend black pepper is gonna come into play here. And I believe that's all I'm actually gonna do for seasoning. Cause I do have the dill and then the mayonnaise and also that splash of vinegar. That should be good for the seasoning. Oh, I forgot to grab some celery out of the garden. The celery is not quite ready yet to harvest the whole thing, but I've just been taking some of the odor stalks. So just diced up a couple of those. These are, I think we only have about three jars of homemade pickles left. These were made from last year. Uh, I did, um, these are hamburger slices. So I'm just gonna dice up a couple of those. So 
So I boiled off uh, about eight eggs, I believe, that were gathered this morning. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and peel them and chop up six of them and put them right in the potato salad. And then I'll leave a couple to slice up on top. I'm having a little trouble getting the peel off of this one. What I've been doing with the fresh eggs is once I boil them, I don't add anything to the water, but once I boil them, I just let them sit on a kitchen towel for 20 minutes or so just to kind of cool down without being in water. And that seems to make them much easier to peel. If anyone's ever peeled fresh chicken eggs, you know that the membrane tends to stick. So yeah, I'm just gonna chop up about half a dozen or so and add them into the salad. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little more black pepper because why not? And then I will add some more of the homemade mayo. Um, I believe, so I made four cups of it and I think I used about a cup in the coleslaw and then I think I use about two cups in the potato salad. So obviously you are not eating potato salad to stay trim, but my God, it's delicious. And you only really need a little bit to be filled up off of it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just serve some of this and leave a portion in the fridge. There's no way we're gonna eat this in one sitting. So I just scoop it into a kind of a prettier bowl and then what I'll go and do is I'll end up uh, slicing up a couple of the eggs and putting them on top. And there is our second side dish done. So here is my plate I made up for myself. We've got the smoked haddock, we've got the dilly potato salad some smoked chicken wings, one smoked chicken leg, some steamed green beans, and our coleslaw. This meal was delicious. It was so good. We had it Saturday night and Sunday night. So for 10 servings, our total cost was $6.50 for the chicken wings, um, $5.58 for the chicken legs, $7.37 for the haddock, and four cups of oil costs two dollars and 33 cents accounting for 25 cents for vinegar and spices and also a 25 cents for that single carrot our total uh, price for our meal came to 22 dollars and 28 cents for 10 very generous servings coming in at two dollars and 23 cents per serving thanks so much for watching have a great day